like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all, I'm back with some new content. This video features Janae and her beautiful baby, Azuli Rose. Let's get into this video, y'all. Hi. Hey. Hey everyone. Peace, love, and light to you all. Come on into the room. Come on in. Come on in. You already know who it is. Hi, Papa. It's your girl, Janae Alexandria. Blooming beautifully as we all evolve together. Come on in the room, guys. boy. I got my baby right here. <laughs> Experiencing her little back time. Chilling, farting, <laughs> hey everyone. So tonight is a new moon in Cancer, okay? And um, Cancer, it's a no. It's a whole sign that helps you to get into your emotions. So how the transits are, are happening right now, and I'm gonna put a, a video you guys should watch in my story about you know what's going on within the stars but it's a really good time to align yourself with what you really truly desire and what you're and just align yourself with your emotionally with your desires and set good intentions so i just wanted to let that be known and one of my beautiful intentions is to be Hitting it off with my businesses. <laughs> so, I wanted to come on and tell you guys what's going on. I did briefly put it in my story about, you know, Magic Mondays, Tarot Tuesdays, Witchy Wednesdays, Tarot Thursdays, and Free Friday. For with my entrepreneurship and everything like that. Hey, everyone. Hi. Oh, I want to show the baby girl, but not really. <laughs> And I wanted to show you guys for Magic Monday. Magic Mondays are basically about oils today. So I have a complete set of the luxury oils right here. Hi, who? How you doing? I love being a Cancer. Hey, I love Cancers. <laughs> I love Cancers. Bless you. Yes, you're a Cancer, aren't you? That's my baby girl's a Cancer. So... I'm just showing off my oils for today because that's my commitment to myself, right? And as you can see, this is what newborn mama face looked like, okay? Sleep deprived, <laughs> but still glowing and growing. Hey, Empress, how you doing? So I wanted to show you guys, same, I want my businesses to grow too. Meet more spiritual community individuals. Make sure you write that down tonight, okay, Pocahontas? Make sure that you write down your intentions tonight. It's a very powerful transit going on too. Start new. That's what's going on right now. When you want to start, it's a fresh new energy coming in, waving in. And um, it's basically telling you to align yourself. You're losing weight. You look good. Thank you. I That's my one of my intentions. But, you know, got a recipe too, so got to eat. And I'm, I'm not really eating as much as I was before. Um, I'll tell you that when I was pregnant with her, I wanted, I was craving like meats and chicken and stuff like that. Now I don't want to do any of that. I want to really just go focus being on plant-based again, which is really crazy to me. But hey, I like it. I like eating more kale and whatnot. <laughs> so um, you want to also just align your intentions tonight. Like literally write it down and make sure that you focus on the intention, focus on your vision. I will highly suggest meditating tonight. I would highly suggest meditating on what you really, truly want. Align yourself emotionally with it, meaning feel it out. Feel out with your desire and bring it forth with um, your manifest as a manifestation. Um, how how's breastfeeding going? Um, <laughs> we're getting there. I say that I know that I'll just say I have a bionic boob. Okay. When I say I have a bionic boob, I mean like there's more milk in one than the other. 
and she tends to grasp on and latch on easier with one boob than the other um it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's it's a journey it's a task but i'm going to master this shit i'm gonna master it okay um it's her mouth it's a bit small you see it is my boop pop pop and she's awake right now. And y'all never seen her eyes like that. Y'all, every time I went live, she had her eyes closed and she was sleeping. Now she's up. So I'm just like, uh, and I haven't shown her up before. But I wanted to show my, my oils because today is Magic Monday. Okay? So for Magic Monday, what we have is a complete luxury pack. Okay? Luxury package is a, a package of oils and incense and crystal sage and palo santo okay i don't normally show what goes that comes in my package and i like to like show it as a surprise shit <laughs> as a surprise your baby is beautiful thank you <laughs> but this is what i'm showing you guys today we have a beautiful lovely rose love oil it comes with a lot of oils and intentions. Also, these are, you can see what's going on is a spell candle. I put spell, I put spell candles on them. And I also um, infuse them with Reiki energy as well. So, this is a love potion. Body oil for self-love, unconditional love. Like, just rub it all over yourself. Alright, and this is a rose beauty oil good for glowing your skin and enhancing yourself also it's good for your collagen production in your skin helps you be stay youthful and this is a prosperity oil okay base aka money oil okay and then it comes with pack of incense like i said and crystals palo palo and santo palo santo and sage and crystals so if you'd like to claim that package for yourself go ahead and message me okay and you want to say hi you want to say hi <laughs> look <laughs> it's cold it's cold she see i haven't shown you guys her hair. um eyes open yet but here she is my really rosy bows oh my god she's so cute <laughs> so yes janae she is absolutely adorable look at her guys oh my my eyes i feel like she has my eyes honestly i really feel like she has my eyes and i'm gonna get you off the camera because i don't want to put you on so long put you put you put you put would you would you would she's three weeks now okay she's three weeks look <laughs> she's getting chunkier because she's eating a lot and she's eating like a lot a lot aren't you look at those beautiful big eyes mm -hmm. it's my beautiful lovely yes 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 so definitely your eyes i know it is my eyes. This is my eyes right here. And my face. Look at that. Yes. She's so adorable. Thank you. So, um, I wanted to just show you guys um, what I have available for you. And um, also for Tarot Tuesdays, if you guys want to schedule a reading with me, you can go ahead and schedule on right now. Because I don't really believe in those terror readings i've gotten a reading once and it was a long long time ago and the lady was an old blind woman and what she said to me actually did come to fruition but i don't know if i believe in these people if they know how to really read and if they really can see anything go ahead and schedule on right now because I am going to be jotting them down for tomorrow. I'm going to... She, she's so cute. Thank you. I will be jotting them down for tomorrow Who um, is and have a time slot for who's going to be in what time or what this and this, that. You know, schedule. Scheduling. Sorry, mommy brain. <laughs> so, if you like to... 
schedule um, for Tarot Tuesdays tomorrow. You can. I usually, for Tarot Tuesdays, I usually go live and do tarot readings, but I haven't done that in a while. And um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I like this the, the idea of scheduling readings and everything like that. So Tarot Tuesdays and Tarot Thursdays, I'll be doing readings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And oils is for magic um, Mondays and witchy Wednesdays. Um, also, on Wishy Wednesdays, I have art sales, so you can also get art with me, okay? Um, hey, everybody. Hey, Slim. So, how y'all feeling today um, on this beautiful new moon? Remember, this is a new moon. Set your intentions. That robe is pretty. Thank you. This was a gift um, from one of her internet grannies, her little internet grandmas, and I appreciate that. Her name is Diana, so I appreciate Diana for gifting me with this beautiful robe because Mama mommy mommy needs to think about you know mommy too you know so i am getting more on my self-care my self-love um you know you can see my face is glowing a bit more because i'm using my own products um my skincare and everything like that hey it's really baby girl say hi <laughs> so <laughs> I fan over my baby. I fan over her. Like she's so cute. Oh, look at, look, your banana. You can die. She's chilling right now. She's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sorry, y'all. I if I ever get like that, it's because I love cute things, and my baby is the cutest ever. Aren't you cute? Aren't you cute, Chunky Chunks? Aren't you cute? So, uh, let's see. The world looks luxurious. Thank you. I, I'm just really thankful for this gift. Like, she really came through with this 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 gift. I'm really thankful for it. All right. Um, let's see. Thank you for reminding me. I'll be sending my intentions. Yes, absolutely. Please do. I am here to remind you to utilize this energy in the best way possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, new moons are good for starting new intentions. Full moons is good for releasing. But around this time, also, uh, there's a transit going on with the Pluto act. I don't know, with a, or a Pluto transit or something. I, I'm not really so into astrology, but what I do know is what from what I researched is that around this time, there's something going on to where energy is. Um, pushing more of a release an emotional release all right my goba goba gums i could be chopa 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 i can tell she has a little bit of gas Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. So you might want to like, you know, meditate also on what you have to release emotionally. Yes. So she has such beautiful big eyes. Y'all, don't y'all sense a bit of a difference in Janae's approach in her presentation today? in this live because normally when she gets on live she's usually she's got a little bit of angst with her i'm thinking it's because she finally knows that velvet and solar are not getting back together she probably saw velvet's live so she's a little more you know like at peace i guess i really hope that she doesn't take this as an opportunity to rekindle things with Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, her baby daddy. I really hope she does not. But we'll just have to wait and see. So she has such beautiful big eyes. <sighs> so also, um, also aligning yourself emotionally with your desires. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what to manifest, you have to feel it. There you go. I'm starting to um, know my baby. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. I'm starting to know, 
like what's going on and she's only three weeks but she's 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 like predictable in some ways um sometimes i don't know what's going on but sometimes i really just do know like um her her sounds like when she's hungry is a diff it's a sound when she's uncomfortable it's a sound and it's a distinct sound like it's a eh 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 she's uncomfortable um when she's when it's a eh <laughs> is a um it's hunger um and that is gas that right there is gas she's like pushing it out. So she's trying to find something to nibble on to soothe her. But I'm not giving her that. <laughs> I'm gonna give yeah, she's pushing out. You hear that? <laughs> she's pushing out gas. It's okay, baby girl. So what I'm gonna do is find a path. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm not that type of woman that's going to just not attend to my daughter when I'm live. The fuck? Stop everything I'm doing just to see what she got going on. You know right, booba booba. So, yeah. Now, who have we seen or heard ignore their children while they're on live? Y'all know who she talking about. She talking about Velvet, y'all. <laughs> she sure is. So yeah, it's a beautiful experience, yo. I love it. I love it. Um, when it comes down to sleep, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> it comes with the it comes with the territory, right, baby boy, boy, baby girl. She, oh, there you go. And then then she spits up sometimes when she's gassy. I just got that. I just got the spit. Up. There you go. There you go, my mom's. I want to do a lot more when it comes down to motherhood, like, like teach, not even teach, but um, share my experiences. I like the fact that she went ahead and self-corrected herself because she just fixed her mouth to say that she was going to teach somebody something about motherhood. I mean, there's not much that you can teach, Janae. Your baby is three weeks old. Share my experiences about motherhood. So maybe you can like help somebody out there, but not even just that, but I just love to ex share experiences with people. <laughs> You're funny. I know I know I want another girl and then a boy, but if I had if I had a, got a boy, that'd be cool too. <laughs> but yeah, I that's why I'm doing also my um YouTube channel which is Sacred Lotus uh TV. You can go ahead and like mess uh subscribe because we'll be doing a lot more panels and I she is so cute today. Thank you. And I wanted to know what you guys wanted to talk about. What do you guys want to commune on? when it comes down to those panels, okay? Um, you can go ahead and let me know in the comment box below what should the next panel on my Sacred Lotus TV YouTube channel should be. And um, I really am like moving towards like motherhood literally because I, I, I'm learning a lot and it's such a beautiful experience and I'm in love with it. I could cry. I'm in love with it and I like uh, sharing it. So, you know, when new mothers come around, they'd be like, oh, that's great. I, I, I'm glad that I listened to this channel because I learned a lot. And I learned I learned a whole lot, especially when it comes down to prenatal care and, you know, um, uh, herbs to take and all these good stuff and how to avoid 
becoming so I would say I don't know. I'm not going to say that, but how to avoid certain things when it comes down to your pregnancy and how to be emotionally stable throughout it all. Because you guys know I went through a lot throughout my pregnancy. I went. I agree. You definitely went through a lot during your pregnancy. What with Solar and Velvet, you know, carrying on and talking about you on live and just being really disrespectful. So, yeah, I, I agree. You did go through a lot throughout my pregnancy I went through a whole lot and I was able to carry all nine months with my child and she's here you know without it being yeah she's listening she always she's always been a listener since within the womb she's always listening to conversations and kicking and stuff like that so like I wanted to also express how I was able to just stay emotionally calm throughout it all and how I was able to like you know receive support in certain ways so I want to share about I want to share a lot of things but I wanted to know from the public what you guys would like to you know commune on on the next panel you know I would love to I would love to chat with the community about a lot of things you know whatever comes to mind let me know have you done her chart absolutely I have done her chart um she is a cancer sun leo moon and also a pisces rising so when you look in her eyes you'll see you know <laughs> don't get lost in them <laughs> uh thank you so much for buying a badge and everybody who has supported me thank you so much and whoever is going to continue to support me i appreciate that as well everything just goes towards the family as you can see She loves baths. She loves freaking baths. Well, she's gonna be a star. Absolutely, that Leo moon. I have a fifth house moon, so I, it's basically a Leo moon as well. I really don't put too much stock in the Leo moon, the Mars square Pluto, and this and that, because it all really depends on how you raise your children. They could have certain aspects in their chart, as they like to say, but it really has a whole lot to do with what they are exposed to. Uh-oh. She's getting red, so that means she's pushing out gas. Azuli Rose. Yes. So what I like to do... When I um help her, like what I like to do to help her with the gas, my baby is push up her, her knees and do the bicycle. Yeah. Do the bicycle. Do the bicycle, do the bicycle, do the bicycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that gas out. And then I like to put her up afterwards. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. It, she just burped. And then I like to put her up afterwards and just pat her. To help it go out. She's gonna be so tall, you think so? I uh, will see. And she likes to um, also scrunch up her legs, you know, like in the womb. So I like to also help her relax by scrunching up her legs up like this. I'm trying not to show my coop up. <laughs> and just pat her. Mm, and now you get now I feel that she's emotionally stimulated because I can feel it through my heart chakra. She just connected to me and now she's feeling more warm. She feels more comfortable. She's relaxed. And I feel that because we're now we're connecting chest to chest. And skin to skin is actually really, really important around these times. So that's cool. I didn't know that worked. Yep. Girl, I'm learning so much. And it's because I want to, like, I want to connect with my daughter. I want to know what works. I want to know what helps. Do you have a swaddle? I have so many swaddles that I don't even use, girl. 
I have so many, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start using them more because that swaddling is kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I can feel her now. She's so relaxed now. Oh, it feels so good. She's like love. I can feel her love right now. Look, yep. Oh, mom got the magic touch. Thank you. I'm learning from my mom. I'm learning from YouTube. I'm learning from a lot. I'm learning from her. You know, she tells me if she she's going to vocalize when she's upset or, you know, she's angry. One thing I will give Janae is that she does give her mother her props as they are due. You know, because if it wasn't for her mother, she wouldn't have anywhere to stay. And I'm sure her mother helps her quite a bit with her baby. Upset or you know she's angry or she's she's hungry you know and my intention is to be a great mother you know um the great goddess Yemiya came in my dreams like twice and i've kind of you know i need to get more into that honestly she i think she wants to teach me more about being a mother and i've been even in my dreams i've been kind of avoidant because i'm like kind of scared but <laughs> it's all good i'm going to go ahead and not be so scared <laughs> I can send you a video to help with startling. Sure, I, I'm I'm open to it. I'm open to it. I'm open to a lot of information. Y'all already do send me so much information about babies and newborns. <clears throat> yeah. Uh oh. I feel something's off now. Yeah, she's still. You know, here's the thing about formula you know in this milk based formula it does sometimes upset the guy like the upset the the um tummy but now what happened tell me what's going on uncomfortability let me check her um let me check her pamper yeah like you, I like listening to her. Like I ask her what's going on, and she lets me know. Like eh or nah or eh, eh, eh. and it's like okay. And then I look at her fist. You know, if her fist is closed and clenched up, she's hungry. And it looks like she's she's hungry a little bit, just a little bit, half hungry, half full because she we just fed her. We she eats a lot. Okay, she eats a lot. <laughs> And we just fed her, so let's see if this is the problem. Yep. Soil diaper. Ah, this is so magical. It's making me cry. Now, that kind of irritates me whenever Janae gets into that. Oh, this is going to make me cry. It's so magical. It's going to make me cry. She can cry at the drop of a hat or the drop of a dime. So I don't understand. Everything makes her cry, goddamn it. Every goddamn thing. This is so magical. It's making me cry. Like. I just love knowing, you know, because when I didn't know, when I didn't know, it was so hard because <laughs> I'm just like, why are you crying? And now I'm just like, yes, I'm getting the hang of this shit because I listen and I pay attention to my daughter. So, okay, so now I'm going to change her. Sorry if I get emotional. It's still hormones. It's still hormones. I'm still getting through it. <clears throat> so what I use sorry for um not getting to the questions I could tell them in a minute uh, I cried a lot postpartum you did <laughs> I'm I'm battling emotions and I'm also like oh conquering them you know especially around this new moon time I'm releasing emotionally and it feels good you know my my daughter cries so much. She is a bit moody. She does cry, but you know, then she'd be chill like this, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We just need to know what she wants and give it to her. She's a Leo moon. She's the, you know what I'm saying, demanding of that shit, and she will let it be known. And then she gets red all when she cries. Um, let me go ahead and get to these questions, and then and also if you have a question, you can put it in a question box too. Mm. All right, let's see. Trust me, your mat your maternal instinct. Not every female gets to gives birth has it. Really, that sucks because that's exactly what's getting me through these days. 
with a maternal instinct, you know what I'm saying, and getting to know her, you know. For the couple of weeks, she's mainly going to sleep. Yeah, that's what newborns do. They mainly sleep, eat, sleep and eat, poop, pee, sleep and eat, poop, pee. And, you know, they be up for about, you know, an hour or two. She sometimes be up for some hours, like two hours, one hour. Sometimes, like, I think one time she was up for three. But they normally just be up for a, a little bit of time, and then they go right back to sleep. I'm learning so much about newborns and babies and taking care of them. Like, I, when, I, when I get into something, I want to be, like, the expert on it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Papa. Hey, my mamas. Hi. And also, you want to take a note that newborns, their vision is still being, you know, developing. So you want to get, you know, close so them, for them to, like, see your face. When I get too close, she, like, looks away. But when I get to a diff a, a angle to where she can see, she she can see me. So you want to make sure to like teach her how to smile, teach her how to use her face muscles, or. I really hope that not many new mothers are listening to Janae, because quite honestly, it would be the blind leading the blind. Her baby is three weeks old, and she's talking about teaching the baby how to use their facial muscles and teaching them how to smile. Babies do that on their own, Janae. This muscles are him, whatever you got. You just, hi, ooh, ooh, and they will mimic it. Now she's, she's sleepy. She's a bit sleepy. So, yeah, look at her, about to yarn, mm-hmm. Yep, yarned. I just knew it. I knew it, baby girl, so she might get a little bit fussy. She might get a little bit fussy because she's a bit tired. But she's getting in a space to where she can get comfortable. And she can sleep. And also, sometimes I put her pacifier in so she can it can help her sleep better. But sometimes she's not going to want it. So, sorry. Let me get to these questions. I apologize. So, this is why I want to do, like, Sacred Lotus TV and have a lot of, like, that that YouTube channel is more based more on femininity and divine feminine energy and, you know, motherhood and all this other stuff. All that. All things divine feminine, right? But, um, this is why I want to, like, do panels and do videos on, like, this because I've learned a lot so fast and it works. So I want to also help the people who also have newborns don't know what to do because I didn't know what to do. And I, it made me feel so happy when I went to a lactation specialist, when I went to people who were certified in it or went to people who was professional or knows what they're doing. And I want to be of that service as well. I want to be of help as well. So when I show you guys what I do and it actually works and it's actually, you know, tangible <laughs> and doing, you know, I just, it makes me just want to just do these videos. Does she only drink formula or are you breastfeeding also? I'm doing both. I'm doing formula and breastfeeding. I'm doing formula and breastfeeding. Um, and uh, the breastfeeding part, it is a bit harder, of course, um, because, you know, she has to, you got to latch a certain way. Baby's got to latch at a certain angle and a certain dynamic in a certain way. My baby has a smaller mouth. I love you so much. And, um, uh, well, someone breastfeeding, and it's like, and, and also my boobs because I had like nipple piercings, it goes like three ways, like the milk. So uh, it's just a bit more difficult, but I'm still going to just keep going, not going to just be discouraged, you know, because I could be easily discouraged about it sometimes. So I just let it, you know, ride. Let's see. 
Is the family of the father planning on visiting the baby? Um, I don't know. Uh, they want they the family of the father. Like, you know, the mother and the sister has contacted me. And, you know, they have vocalized that they want to have a relationship with her. You know, so that's all I'm going to say about the father's side. Because I choose, I just choose not to get into that anymore. Yeah, she choosing not to get into it now because Velvet is no longer in the picture. So her and Solar, you know, they're good friends now. So she's not going to tell what's going on anymore. I, choose, I just choose not to get into that anymore, you know, or talk about it no more. But, yeah, you're an amazing mother. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm doing my best, literally. I want to do my best. Absolutely. And how she's going to sleep. Oh. Oh, and babies be in this. Oh, sorry. Uh, she gets easily startled. Um, babies. Hey, deity Isis. Thank you. Um, babies be. Thank you, y'all. I appreciate it. Hi, Kulu. I was just saying hi to people because I just know they're watching. <laughs> So, um, babies be in this light sleep, you know, sometimes like, like they, they're kind of sleeping, but they're like more attentive and aware too. So, um, with her, like she's so sensitive. She's really sensitive to noise sometimes. Beautiful baby. Oh, thank you, Kulu. I appreciate that. She's like, so a magnificent. Thank you. Um, well, that's great. Hopefully, the family will be able to visit a baby. Hopefully, you know. I mean, they they're all in other states. All of them. All of them. The the family is all in other states. So, you know, you know, it's just it, whatever is in alignment. You know, I'm not forcing anything anymore. You know, she has what she needs. She has, you know, exactly who's gonna be around. Who's gonna be around her, and that's it. You know, I'm not gonna force anything. You know, what I'm saying. Um, but um, whatever comes in alignment will come in alignment with whoever wants to be in her life will be in her life. And that's it. You know, now I, for one, am happy that her and Solar are at this place and in this space where they're both being very mature about the situation and they're not like dogging each other out on the Internet, because that's also important. You know, they have a child together. So they're going to have to work towards a healthy co-parenting relationship. That's it. You know, teach me some things on babies, please, and thank you. I would love to. I would love to. Now that I have one and I've been researching and I'm seeing it play out in my life, I would love to teach more about this stuff. Like, that's why, you know, I started just demonstrating certain things that actually helped me and helps us. And it actually works. Like... <laughs> The burp, like you, if you don't know how to burp your baby, that's something you may need to go really go ham on, you know, like know exactly how to burp your baby because when they're gassy, they're fussy, they just, they just don't like it and I, you won't like it because, you know, you're, you're in your postpartum, you're emotional with them because they're, you know, if you're so emotionally attached and connected to them, you don't want them to cry. So you start crying and it's like, oh my God. So, and make sure that you, um, know what formula is best for the baby um if you are on formula and uh know what positions to put them in i wish i could show you a position that really helps me with her but she's sleeping i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna interrupt that but you want to make sure that uh with your child you know you know what positions works best for burping them the gas is not as makes them so uncomfortable and it hurts you know, and um, yeah, so um, also if you're you have a really, really, really gassy baby and they're constipated and stuff like that um, with newborns, you know, don't get so, um, you know, whacked out about if they don't poop, you know, as often because, you know, that's just a part of it. But if you have a baby that's not pooping at all, um, you might want to look into certain things like gri gripe water. For any new mothers out there, gripe water can work for gastric issues. However, the best thing to utilize when your child may be constipated, especially a newborn, is prune juice. A little bit of prune juice will help them to 
alleviate that constipation. Certain things like gripe water, some gripe water really helped us. You know, um, I remember you saying your milk was low. Eat alfalfa sprouts. Thank you. Grow them. The, my milk is really developing in this boob, but in this one, I be seeing that it's more, it's smaller and it's more dried out. So, I mean, this is motherhood. I don't mind being vulnerable with you guys. Hey, this is my body. And I'm seeing that one boob is bigger than the other. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it's okay because we're going to get through it. Fun fact, Janae. Every human being has a part of their, a side of their body that's bigger than the other side. Everybody. But it's okay because we're going to get through it. Um. Uh, let's see. Has she had gas yet? Oh, I literally just said, you know, yeah. Remedies on gas relief. Okay, yeah, there you go. Peaceful flow. I didn't even know that was in the in the um question box, but there you go. Gas relief. Know what positions to um help burp baby. Um, also, if you look into gripe water, gripe water helped a lot. Um, and just you know, um, making sure that you know you're not overfeeding. You know. Yes, my boob is the same. One produces more than the other. Mine as well as normal. Yep, I feel that's common. Yeah, it is common, and it, it, I'm not gonna be insecure about it. <laughs> I've always, from from young, from I was young, I've always had a bigger boob, one boob bigger than the other, and um, my sisters kind of bullied me for it for one, one time. But I've, it's you know, they're different. You know, they're they're cousins. They're not their sisters not twins their cousins or something like that so um just especially with mamas be more give yourself more grace around the the postpartum time i'm doing my best to give myself more grace because lord knows i look so different and it, and it's and it's making me feel like i'm missing my old self and all this other stuff but today's a new moon i'm creating a new self creating my dream my dream self you know And she loves, you know, and this is something I'm trying, you know, my best not to get her in this habit, but she likes to sleep on top of me. <laughs> and, um, hey, it is what it is. And I hope that you realize that that's not a good look for you or for her because once you return to work, who's she going to fall asleep on? Her sleep is gonna, is shouldn't be contingent upon sleeping on top of you because then she won't be able to really get comfortable sleep. You got to put her down. And, um, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to um, make, sure, make sure you do get them in their bassinet, though. Like, uh, because if people are going to watch them, you know, and you're not there, you know, you got to make sure you do your, your job. By okay, at least you know. At least you know. So now you know you need to do better. You do your, your job by... If they go to sleep, put them in their bassinet. I like to do that, and then when I feel her on top of me, it makes me feel really, you know, good because it does something to the hormones when you do have skin to skin contact for the mother. It does something to us. It helps us um, regulates our hormones when they are on top of us. It does help us to stay calm and feel happy and feel good. Like right now, I feel amazing when she's on me, but I can't just, you know, just to have her in the practice of sleeping in her own bed. And bassinet without being fussy if I'm not there. I have to put her in her bassinet when she falls asleep. So I'm going to try in a few moments, <laughs> in a few moments, to put her in her bassinet um, so she can just sleep there. And But I, I, I kind of just don't want to. But I, I know that I, I got to get in the practice of it, okay? Otherwise, they will be in your bed. <laughs> Right, exactly. So you want to make sure you, um, if your name is funny, <laughs> you want to make sure that you put them where they need to be in their own space. <laughs> but she's so cute, and I feel like I love her so much. <laughs> hey, Jazz. Yes, I breastfeed for three years just to stop. Stop. Oh, breastfeed for three years. Golly, that's a long time. How do y'all do it? Please let me know. But yeah.
girl you look good thank you i appreciate that oh that's so sweet because i wasn't i was not feeling myself but now i feel better i feel i'm feeling much better about me and myself like this okay that's gonna go away with due time you know what i'm saying that's just lack of sleep i'm waking up every two to three hours she's waking me up you know what i'm saying just to eat and and get changed and stuff like that i'm like okay Oh, but okay, I got it. You know, it's fine. You know, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it because you know you want to make sure you're 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 growing a healthy, beautiful, happy baby. Thank you so much, Jazz. Lavender is definitely a, a color I love. I like. I breastfeed for two years, both my babies. Jesus Christ, Nova. <laughs> Like, oh, goodness. I, I want to best feed her more, honestly. It's just, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Like, like you know, the latching is, you know, and I, and it's not like I don't ever breastfeed her. I do. Is that latching is so difficult sometimes that I, whenever she's crying and yelping, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm just going to get the bottle at this point. Um, food grade ointment for nipples. Yeah. Um, I got nipple butter in there. Definitely will help. So much work to just one person, but the bond is unbelievable. Yeah, honestly, babies are not just for one person. <laughs> you know how they say it takes two to tango. It makes it takes two to create this thing. It takes two to take care of the thing. You know, well, be well, there's a lot of mothers that do it by themselves. Not saying that there's that mothers can't do it on their own, but I do see you know more promise in doing it with a partner or doing it with with somebody like my mother it helps she's just a great help because you know sometimes she will just take her and i'll be able to sleep more you know what i'm saying and you know sleep is such a, something i really do enjoy it's a luxury at this point so it's just like you know um support is definitely needed you know i don't it does it takes a village yes it does and it also take in the household you know, it would be nice to have two people, like the parents, the parents taking care of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, if it's a certain, if certain, if certain, if certain situations or certain circumstances happen to where that's not, you know, the case, we'll get we'll have somebody else there. You know, have a a family member that does want to help. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, because it does uh, is it is a lot. It is a lot. Um, but it's not like it's impossible for anybody to do. It just takes a lot of you energetically. Um, do you give breast milk? Um, yeah, I do give breast milk. I, I'm actually about to start pumping in a second after I get off live and eat. I gotta eat. Sometimes I, you know, I, I don't find times to eat. And it's like, I'm breastfeeding, so I have to find times to eat. But, oh my God, I know I have to put her down. <laughs> look at me i don't want to um but yeah i do breastfeed her i do get the breast pump and give her some breast milk i do want to continue to do that so we can bond and also she can get my nutrients from my you know my 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 boobies <laughs> you know yes you have to take care of yourself and that's is very important because you can sometimes look you gotta you gotta take care of yourself mommy's gotta take care of themselves and they have to remember to take care of themselves okay shower bathe brush your teeth wash your face eat you know um and feel valid it validates yourself you know people are gonna just look at you look at the baby and not look at you sometimes and you're gonna have to look at yourself and be like okay it's fine you know i got me you know I wonder if those people she's talking about is Solar. You know, when she said people want to look at the baby and not look at you, you know. And that's okay. Validate yourself. She must be talking about Solar. Don't put her down if you don't want to. I know, but I really have to. So, cause so she, you know, when I do go to work, because I, I am financially... Um, you know, supporting myself and my, my family at this point. My mother is also doing that, so we're just we're a team, you know. And I'm not gonna cry. And, and that's why I, I sell my oils and everything like that. Please buy this set. Um, I feel like I'm gonna be going back to work soon. Um, I actually put in my 
<sighs> I put in my um my thing my uh, what is it called? Not resume, but my application again, my to to reinstall myself into work, and I might be going back Friday. So, um, I have to make sure that she is okay with me not being there. I don't. Now think about it now it makes me want to cry because I know I have to do what I gotta do, but still I kind of don't want to separate myself from her. You know what I don't understand. Both her and Velvet, you know, talk about getting a job or going to work, but they don't really want to do it. It's almost as if they don't realize they didn't have Bill Gates's baby. They didn't have Jay-Z's baby. They have Solar's baby. So working, that's a part of having Solar's baby. You're going to have to get a job. You're going to have to spend some time away from the baby. And I'm sure in Janae's case... And possibly even Velvet's case, their families will step in and help watch their children so that they don't have to be concerned, at least, while they're at work. I don't want to separate myself from her. Kind of don't. Um, but it seems I know I have to do what I got to do. Excuse me. And um, and get this money. The fuck? We got... This stuff is still going to be due, so it's like... Sorry if I cry, bro. I don't know why I'm crying. Because I know I've, I'm the one who signed up for this. Like, I know I want, you know, I have to do what I got to do. But I don't know. Thinking about spending hours away from her is making me cry right now. Sorry. That's so stupid. That is so stupid. That is crazy. Why did I start crying after that? It's probably because she's on me right now. <laughs> Because I can feel her energy and stuff. And I'm just like, it feels so good to me right now. This is what makes me feel so good. Uh, but it is what it is. Work is work. You got to do what you got to do. Okay, mamas. Do what you got to fucking do. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it's not stupid. Okay. All right. You're right. You're right. I'm not going to say it's good. And that's something I'm still doing is giving myself grace. You know, and with my emotions and my hormones and stuff like that. Because... Me, um, me being a Capricorn, I mean, we're very emotional people, but we don't really fucking show it. We're like, okay. <laughs> we're like, okay. Ooh. It's just postpartum stuff. You'll be okay. Okay, good. Take care of your mental and emotional health. That's exactly what I'm doing, and I'm doing my best to keep myself away from people, places, and things that don't serve me emotionally and, and my mental health, you know? I got therapy today in an hour. Okay. Just making sure I keep up with the time. Can you find work at home? I'm literally... All right, people are sending me, like, job opportunities and everything like that. And I'm looking into them and everything like that. So, yeah, I could possibly find work at home. Um, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I do like going in to work, though. Because um, I like serving and bartending because it's, like, instant money and instant cash and... I'm able to like get money in that day and do what I gotta do. I like that too. Um, but I also, you know, I do that online too. I like to do tarot readings and I get money that way. Like, and my tarot readings are bomb as fuck because it literally helps a lot of people and it makes me feel really good when I do it because I'm like so connected to God and my spirit kind of spirit realm in that time. So when I do readings, I'm like, oh, I feel so great because I can hear everything and I feel everything and I feel the person I feel with and I feel my angels or I feel the the, the guidance of the spirit that's really coming through me to tell people what what to, what's going on the holy spirit my higher self it feels really good when i do tarot readings i'm not gonna lie it feels like a, and i see angels you know um i see the the feathers fly sometimes when i do readings and i'm just like oh god that's so fucking amazing i love it but what was i talking about i was talking about money <laughs> Uh, but anyway, and my professions and what I do. So that's why I like to also just promote my, my my stuff at home. Things I can do so I can stay at home. So if you'd like to support me in any type of way, shape or form, please do. And also, if you'd like to support yourself through my products and my services, please do. You know, because, you know, I love to serve. And that's something I like to do. I like to serve. And to have a daughter, it makes me feel like I'm always in service. So I'm like... I like this. I like that I'm able to serve her and be of service to her and, you know, do things for her and help her grow because that's what I really want to do is to help people grow in the world. That's what we're here for, right? 
you know. Wow. Yes, that's what we're here for. Okay, what I was saying. Okay. I'm I'll be going in. Okay, your bond with her is so calming to me. Thank you. contact mats are so soothing they're so great like this is so amazing to me and also sometimes you know i you know i don't try to do this but sometimes it happens to where where it did happen to where i fall asleep while she's on me and she's sleeping and we're both sleeping and we have i have these most amazing dreams and then i wake up i'm like oh snap and i put her back in her um bassinet it's like the reason why i fall asleep is because i'll be wake she'd be waking me up and so early in the night and i'd be like so tired so when i'm feeding her or when she's like resting on me like i tend to doze off and that's why having a partner is so important too so you can just you know way back up but you know it is what it is it's totally naturally to, natural to be emotional about that we are mothers and we have to do what we have to do she would be so she will be so proud She'll be proud, your her mother, uh, when she sees your strength and what you sacrificed for her. Thank you. Sacrifice. Let me tell y'all something. It didn't even matter. It don't like when you have a child. It's like what you want to do and what you got to do, what you feel like you want to do and stuff like that. It sometimes has to be revamped and revised. Um, when you have a child, it's like you definitely have to make certain sacrifices that, um, you need, if you need to make certain sacrifices, like if you sacrifice and sleep some of your time to, you know, spend time with your daughter or spend time with your son or spend time with your child, it's definitely needed for the growth and support of the child. I, I feel like I cannot be selfish at this point to where I'm just like, I want to do what I want to do. And, um, and then avoid or neglect the child so the person so the child don't have you know emotional development with their family or their parents that don't make sense to me honestly it just don't because when i have her i'm just like when i'm doing my oils and stuff like that and she starts yelping or you know crying or something like i immediately stop and i go in there and I'm like what's going on and i and i spend time with her and i say and i play with her you know what i'm saying like i i can i can't imagine not doing that not stopping what I'm doing just to tend with to what she needs. I can't imagine not doing that. But so sometimes I just let her, you know, cry until I'm like, okay, oh, wait, hold on. She definitely needs something. You know, I'm like, but it doesn't even take, it's just like a like 30 seconds for me. Because sometimes when she's sleeping and um, she starts waking up or she's, you know, she's just sleeping, she'll just whimper in her sleep. So I just, I'll just wait until she's, if she's really waking up to go to her or just wait to see if it was just a whimper in the sleep. Cause sometimes a half more than half of the time is just a whimper in the sleep. It's just her dreaming. And she's just, you know, um, you know, it's making it vocal that she's dreaming because babies don't have that, um, that thing that we have to where, you know, we're just able to sleep throughout, you know, the night they, without moving and stuff like that. They move, they, they, they wiggle, they, they smile, they, they cry in their sleep. Because it's their reflex to not do that is not developed as much yet, so that's something else I researched. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness Is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True, many of you know him as True. He is an ex Carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self development and growth. This book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. So, you know, at the end of the day, like what I'm saying is sacrifice. Sacrifice is, is needed. You know, you know, you have to revamp and revise your life when you have a child. Like, it's not just you anymore. It's both of y'all. And I just, oh, Jesus Christ. It don't make sense to me how people can just be so f selfish. I just let it go, you know, um, cause I, and I say it to myself, I'm not going to be selfish. I'm going to just do what I got to do. Um, 
yes, I'm going to think about myself and what I want to do, but she's not going to be excluded from that. Period. Oh my God. I love her so much. I can feel that such beautiful love coming from her. I went back to work at six months. Wow, really? It's about to be a month and I'm trying to go back to work. That's crazy. And I promise whether it's a month to six months, it's still hard. You got this, mama. Sheesh. God will always help you and help you provide. Thank you so much. I am really work. I, that's how I work. I work off of faith as well. So that really helps me. Thank you so much. And I don't know why I have a craving for coconut shrimp. But Jesus Christ, get out of here. <laughs> That's crazy. So um, I I just want to let y'all know, like, today's a new moon. Get real with your intentions. Emotionally align it with what you want to do, with your purpose and everything you're calling. Um, there's so much to do with life. So make sure that you know exactly what you want to do with your life. You know, I'm glad that I'm a mother. But I also have so many other things I want to do with my life. And I want to start with also YouTube. You know, go get them. Go to Corona Shrimp. You paying for lunch? <laughs> that would be cool. But I don't know. I don't even know where I could get coconut shrimp over here, honestly. So it's okay. Um, what am I saying? You, ha- you make having a baby look easy. <laughs> Behind the scenes... It's a little bit look. It looks a little bit harder, but I know that I, it just it, for me it just came natural, you know what I'm saying. And also I'm also learning from, you know, a lot of I learn from a lot of people online. A lot of you know the, a lot from the lactase specialist, a lot from my mother. Like I'm really just learning. So when when I put my focus into learning. And receiving information, I'm able to uh, apply it, and it works, and that's what makes it easy for me. And so I just want to show you guys it can it can actually happen. So, what with the end of the day, if you guys want to, I might do a panel tonight, if God willing. If not, um, I will see you guys again. Um, please, please do if you'd like to get my oil. My oil, this is one of my favorite ones, actually, the Rose Beauty Oil, because it makes your skin glow and stuff like that, and it has roses and stuff in it, and rose oil and rose hip and all these beautiful oils together. If you'd like to get a luxury oil, please do message me. It's a beautiful, big, big bottle. They, I us, I should charge more for them, but I just, I like making them. See, she's really sensitive to sound. So, um, just, they're really, they're affordable to me. They're affordable for what I, for like, for what I give you. So if you would like to, um, receive an oil, please message me. If you'd like to see, receive art, please message me. Um, today is Magic Monday, so I'm going to push the oils today. And I'm going to talk to you guys later because I have to go eat. I have to put her down. I have to make sure I get other things done before she wakes up and tries to eat again. And yeah. This has been your new mama nay. <laughs> um, is there anything else that needed to be said, y'all? Did anybody else want? Oh, yeah, and readings. If you guys want to book a reading, please book a reading with me, okay? Um, I am doing them tomorrow, so we can get you scheduled in for tomorrow, okay? Awesome. Okay. I know you got to talk to your therapist. Oh, yeah, I do in about 45 minutes. I got to go to therapy, so... <sighs> a lot to do all right y'all peace thank y'all so much for coming in and i'll see you guys later and let me know what the next panel should be on my youtube page go follow it the links are in the bio okay peace love and light to you guys all right y'all i hope you enjoyed this video as well as my commentary i didn't really do that much commentary on this one there wasn't really much to say but I'm sure you guys might have stuff to say. So be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share this video. Guys, I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. And to all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies. Y'all already know what it is. We in the building with it. Big up yourself.